Documents sealed just yesterday have now been released. We now know more about what evidence a jury will see in the trial of decommissioned Metro Nashville police officer Andrew Delkey. He's on trial for shooting and killing Daniel Hambrick in 2018. Our Levi Ismail is in the Five Alert Center as we take a closer look at what these new developments mean for the trial, Levi. Well, guys, a lot to sort through, but it appears that for the most part, both sides have a major win as far as the judgments that are coming down from these motions. Now, both sides will have their use of force experts, and both are controversial in their own way. In a rare move, former District Attorney Tory Johnson will testify for the defense. He's the predecessor to the current DA Glenn Funk, but Johnson said in one motion hearing that he believed Officer Delkey had probable cause to chase Daniel Hambrick. State attorneys characterized this as Johnson admitting he may not have prosecuted Delkey if this case happened on his watch. As for the state, they will have their use of force expert in Sergeant Jody Steiger. He's known for testifying in the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin for the murder of George Floyd. The last key motion involved video surveillance of Officer Delkey chasing Hambrick, which the defense argued was incomplete. Today's ruling shows this is still under advisement by Judge Watkins, but sources tell us the jury will be allowed to see the video in court. Our legal expert Nick Leonardo says it appears both sides were given much of what they need for a fair and speedy trial. Uh, hopefully what we will see uh, is a trial that moves a whole lot quicker than some we've covered in the past uh, because they, they've taken care of a lot of these issues pre-trial. Um, and so hopefully with all these agreed orders and all these references, we, they can minimize jury out hearings that should have been taken up prior to the trial. The defense said they want the flexibility to bring up prior crimes committed by Hambrick into evidence as well as pictures to show Hambrick in a not so favorable light. Now, Judge Watkins denied that motion, saying it's not relevant to the trial. We'll include a list of all of Judge Watkins judgments on our website at newschannel5.com. Reporting Levi Ismail, News Channel 5. Thank you, Levi. We will bring you gavel to gavel coverage once opening statements begin in the trial next month. To read up on the shooting, the indictment and what to expect in the trial, check out our website.